What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, I said I would try to get some of these photos out when I can, and here we go. We got some free time. We're going to rock this. And by the way, there will be a Friday evening hangout. So make sure you join us 5 p.m. Eastern time, and we'll see you there. All right, folks, we're going to have a look at Sal 141 from Curiosity, and it's from the mass cam. Now, you might have seen this photo floating around. Many people have called it different things, like blocks, intelligently carved uh, blocks or whatever. Uh, different things. Unfortunately, people do not dig into these photos. And for all the newcomers here, I'm going to show you why they should dig into them, because the masking that they put over these, the manipulation, the centering they put over these photos is absolutely ridiculous. You have to burn through it in order to get to it. Now, don't get me wrong, you're not going to uncover everything. There's no way around this. But I'm going to show you this photo here. You'll be lucky to see 5 to 10% of the real photo, where the rest of it has what looks like artificial compression artifacts, both dark and light ones. And you'll see that now. Let's just jump right into it. All right, you can see the photo right here. Like I said, you can see this rectangular block sitting right here. Got the cursor going around it right there. Pretty interesting if you ask me. Let's zoom into it a little bit. And again, this is the original photo, NASA. My first question would be, how do you have a block? At least it looks like a block. You see the nice carved line, but the top of it is like been, it looks like it's very vague, like something's been painted or centered over it. That's right, folks. There's so much centering in here, it's bizarre, okay? I see, right off the bat, I see something mechanical. Why do I see mechanical? Look at the bottom left of this. You can see a line coming up like this here, going down, going around, coming back up on the other side. You can see what looks like maybe a little round circle right here in the upper left corner. Folks, this photo is absolutely awesome. And here's the thing, once I put a little blur into it, and I'm gonna show you that in the last enhancement, you'll see down here, I was able to bring out a couple more things that look mechanical. Let's just jump right into it. All right, here we are in Photoshop. This is the original photo. Now folks, I'm gonna show you the centering right off the bat, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna go into cyan plate. Cyan plate or plates are the actual raw parts of the photo. You can see cyan plate, magenta plate, yellow plate, black plate, but we're gonna use the cyan plate and then we're gonna Click right here. Now, folks, I don't have to do much to this photo. Check this out, just in this area alone, okay? Just this alone, this piece here, look at the, what looks like stepped manipulation. See this? Okay, now we also have light ones. Whatever they're trying to block in here, they're doing a really, really good job of it. Now, I said that when we looked at this block, why does the top of it look like it's missing? Well, let's have a closer look, shall we? Look at this. They are literally trying to mask whatever this thing is, and they're trying to block it out. Again, you can see the top here. All of a sudden, it just kind of disappears right here. How can that possibly be if this is a solid item? Well, there's only one conclusion you can come to. It's been censored out. Look at all of this up here. Completely centered out. Now you can see right here, there is some area that has, I'm going to call it some detail, but even that's been covered up. But this is completely void of any detail, okay? Now I'm going to go back to the original photo. I want to show you something real quick. This is the original. Now we're going to get off this nasty color, okay? This is what we end up with, okay? Now we can take some of the color off, just desaturated the hair a bit. Okay. Now let's put it back through the cyan plate. Okay. And have another look. Check this out, folks. It's more noticeable now. Notice how much more noticeable this is. See that? Okay. You can see this double of this centering right here. Right like this here. Folks, check this out. You can see it. You're lucky to see, like I said, 5 to 10% of this real photo that is not covered up. Okay. Now, you might say, well, these compression artifacts. Okay, let's go with that. Let's do this. I'm going to zoom way, way out. I can still see them, folks. Upper left corner. This block or this wannabe rock right here, okay? Right there. 
I'm going to back way out. Now, you may not be able to see this on a tablet or a phone, but I'm going to zoom way out. And guess what, folks? I can still see these. Well, I shouldn't say these. I should say this centering. It's still in the photo. You should not see a compression artifact zoomed way out. You should not see that. Even if I was to do this, I can still see. Now, this is the original photo with the cyan plate. I'm looking at the raw plating of this photo. And you can see that. I can back way out and still see this. Okay, it is so evident of the censoring that they're doing. It's crazy. Look at it. Just look at this photo. You'll be lucky to get five to ten percent of this photo that is not censored out. Okay. With that being said, let's jump into the enhancements. Let me show you what we got. Get rid of the nasty color. I'm gonna go step by step and show you what we've got. Okay. Get rid of some of the saturation. Put a slight blur into it. Now I started to do some burning. Watch this. Starting to see a little bit more in here. Starting to see the lines to this object, like right over here. Okay. Looks like some kind of oval piece sitting right here. Or protruding out of here. Okay. And again, we can still see this piece doing this. But there is actually more. This thing, is, in fact, does do that. Let's keep going. Okay. Notice the pieces in the back here. Okay. Also, once we get into the enhancement, you're going to see this right here. This literally does this. I'm going to zoom into this in a second. Like it's an actual canister of some sort with something sticking out of it. Okay. Went into these other areas near of these rocks. Okay. Again, this these pieces right behind this object is it does not look natural. Let me show you the original again. Okay. You can still see those lines. Well, didn't do that straight, but right here, right here. Okay. Yeah. Let's go into it more. Notice this piece starting to come out a little bit more right here. Okay. And as well as this piece. We'll get the inner details to it. Notice the pieces right here in the center. We can back up a little bit. Right there. Let's go a little bit more. What well, looks like little pieces on the ground here. Look at these pieces right here on the bottom. And if you take a real close look at these, you can see what looks like round pieces, straighter pieces. Okay. Some stuff here in the back. Again, you're not going to bring this out clear, so don't even bother to try to. This right here. You can see something's right here. Almost looks like it has something like a round piece here going like this. You can see what looks like something's arched inside here. Not even sure what to make of that, but something's arched. We have some kind of weird design going like this here. See that? Okay. Let's desaturate a little bit. Back out. Now, this is where it gets kind of cool, because I didn't notice this until I blurred this photo, right? We're going to go into this. I'm going to do a slight blur right here. Now, check this out. You can see these areas a little bit better. It's slightly blurred, but it kind of makes it a little smoother. Not so grainy, as you see in here. See it? Put a little blur in it. You can see it looks a little bit better. We can back out a hair a bit. Again, these pieces here alone, folks. This one in here, and I'll put it right here in the center. This right here, the main object. Check out the features in this. All the way around. And again, check out this piece right here. I was talking about earlier. Kind of looks like it does this. Okay, and it looks like little pieces inside there. I don't know if you can see that. Let's go to the full enhancement right there. Have a look at the inside of this object here, right inside. And again, this piece right here. When you can see other little pieces and shapes and stuff like that inside here, you can see this piece doing this. Looks like it's going like this. And of course, it kind of fades out because we don't know what's going on as far as all of the detail, because in fact, this thing has 
been censored. Okay. All right. Now, it wasn't until I actually went into this photo and blurred it that I noticed everything on this old coal rock right here on the bottom in the middle. Let's go ahead and enhance it. Now, I noticed right off the bat these three pieces. There's like three white ones. Let me do this a little better right there. This one, and then, of course, this one. You can see that right there. One, two, three. Enhance it. Now, folks, look at the stuff inside here. If you were to take a look closely at this, look at this right here. You got these weird circles. You have what looks like this piece here, like I just showed you, the three of them doing this. But if you look at the one in the middle, it looks like there's something coming off of it. Okay? Something going down, like diving down like this part of it. You see that? Let me do this. Get rid of the lines. Check that out. Other pieces going down like this. Other pieces inside of this area. Okay? I'm going to tell you right now, folks, in my opinion, we're looking at a bunch of mechanical pieces laying all over the ground. And again, they're being disguised. But I think it's neat what we're seeing because there's some pretty cool objects laying all over the ground here. What they are, I couldn't tell you. It'd only be speculation anyway. We can't actually tell what they are. We don't know what they're made out of. Are they steel, plastic, stainless steel? Is it carbon fiber? No idea. Okay. This piece over here. Notice this on the so-called rock. I told you it was blocked up and you can still see it right here. All right. What is this right here on the side? Look at the details in here. What is going on with that? It looks like it has some kind of weird rail to it. Of course, I'm going to go through the lines that are already there. But you can see these weird lines. Looks like something is doing this. Other lines like this. What are we seeing here? What is that all about? See that? And of course, you can barely even see that whatsoever. But there it is. Right there. And I can see the lines right here. Very faintly, here's the other one. And we got the other two lines right here. And of course, folks, you know you'll get the original photo. That's how we roll on this channel. Got other things here. Not sure what to make of those. It could be just brightly colored rocks. It's hard to tell. But most of this has an actual centering over the top of it. It's what they call Z-stacking. Take multiple photos of the same exact area, get the original one, put it down, and then get transparent copies. And you can put anything over the top of it digitally if you want to. Therefore, these are not crystal clear. I've been asked this a million times. Why aren't these clear? Well, that's because they have an overlay over the top of these. That's just the way it is. And there you go, folks. Listen, again, people just say, why can't we get clearer photos? And I totally agree with you. I, I totally share your frustration. Why is there a rover up on Mars taking subpar photos? It simply makes no darn sense. I can get the cheapest phone today and takes better photos. It's not that the photos are trash. I promise you they're probably at least 4K, okay? The helicopter, Ingenuity, has a 4K camera on it. So doesn't the actual rover. So why aren't we seeing pristine, clear, absolute awesome detailed photos? Why? Again, overlay, distortion, centering. That's just the way it is. This is the reason why we don't see everything really clear. I see, in my opinion again, I see what looks like mechanical pods scattered all over the ground. Now, this was taken by the mass cam. So it's looking from about approximately seven feet off the ground down onto these objects. How big are they? No idea. There's no way to scale it. If we saw the rover, maybe the front of it, maybe the wheel, we can get a better idea, just mm, like a good guesstimation of how far it is from the rover, right? There's no way to judge it. There's no way to see a scale on there, even though some people have tried that. And I'm not so sure if NASA's not actually messing with the photos to begin with. In other words, are they really zooming in a great deal and it looks like it's in front of the rover? We don't know that. We have no clue. We can only, again, speculate and get an idea of the distance from the rover, but we have really no idea. But it is what it is, right? What I see again, mechanical parts. Of course, you guys be the judge. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Please like and share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. Folks, like I said, there will be 
a hangout tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern time. Make sure you join me. I think you guys will enjoy this. If it's your first time, just jump in there. Uh, just have a listen. There's a bunch of great people that come on there. And uh, we have great conversation. A few laughs. We talk about everything from A to Z. Join us. I'd love to have you. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.